and welcome back to the House of Floss and Fluff. My name is Carrie. Thank you guys for joining me for my fifth Floss 2 video. I am recording this on Friday, September 29th, which also happens to be my birthday. Probably will not be uploaded until tomorrow, but we still recorded it on my birthday, so that's pretty cool. So, I hope everybody had a good week. It's been kind of a long week here but a good one. I did get quite a bit of stitching done. However, I have absolutely no finishes. Nothing. I didn't finish anything. I didn't FFO any of my older finishes. In fact, yep. I took apart an FFO piece that I showed you guys last in my last video. Yep, that's the princess dresses. So I took it apart. I told you I was probably going to take it apart because it, uh, the fabric wrinkled on me in the frame and I wanted to fix the French knots as well. So I was originally going to take it apart just to do that, but I had it sitting up by my TV all week and so I kind of was staring at it all week and decided that I just didn't like it. I like the frame. Of course, I love the cross stitch piece, but the two of them together, no, I just don't like it. So I'm going to have to come up with a different way of finishing that piece. Not sure exactly what that's going to be yet or when I'll even get it done, but something, got to try something different because I just don't care for it in the frame. But other than that, I did, I did get quite a bit of stitching done. I just, I had Halloweenitis again. I had to start all the Halloween stuff, so... It's okay. So I suppose you all are here to see stitching, so let's just get into it. Okay, so we're going to start with my new starts, and then I will show you guys some progress on my whips. Um, I'm not going to do any upcoming plans just because I don't know what I'm going to do, honestly. <laughs> I don't even know what I want to work on, you know. Uh, then I have a couple... Um, I have one order that came in for my birthday to show you guys, so I have another little birthday present. I have a few um, additions to my stash that I picked up, and then I've got, I did some fabric dyeing, and I tried dyeing some floss. So I wanted to show you guys how that all turned out, because I think it turned out really cute. And then we're going to finish it up with some shoutouts. So let's get started, huh? Because there's a lot, there's a lot to do. Okay, so up first... Sorry, I've got my notebook down here. So if you're wondering why I keep looking down, that's why. My notes. <laughs> my notes are all down here. I'm on my floor again. Just because, yeah, I was... My desk is covered in mason jars for work. And so I didn't want to try and move stuff around. It just wasn't going to work. So, okay. Up first for my new starts. I decided to start um, this one. This is... Witch's Dance, and it's by Waxing Moon Designs. So I went ahead and started that one. I'm doing this on 14 Count Ada. It was hand dyed by Picture It Plus, and I got it um, on 123 Stitch. And so there is my start. So, of course, I always start in the middle, and so, well, usually I always start in the middle. And so this is the start of the cauldron. And it's just, it's all done in black, so I'm just doing it all in black DMC. So I think it's a decent start. Decent start. So. I meant to pull this one back out and work some more on it. I just got distracted by everything else that I had. Okay, so the next start I did was this one. This is um, season... I'm sorry. Yeah, Halloween season of the witches. So it's another group of dancing witches. And I bought this one. This is from 123 Stitch. Now, this one is the one that I decided I wanted to change it up a little bit um, from what the pattern had called for. And I was a little nervous to do it because I usually don't do that sort of thing. But you guys were really encouraging in the comments and so I was like okay I'm gonna go ahead I got it I gotta try so I changed the fabric to a instead of doing it on the white I'm doing it on a 
grungy pumpkin, I call it, that I hand dyed myself. And then I am not doing it in black thread. I am doing it in different variegated greens. And so that is my start. You guys can see. I got the cauldron done and I started working on one of the witches. So I think it's looking really, really cool. I really like it. And then I had mentioned in my last video that I wasn't sure how I was going to split the pattern up to do the different variegated. I had mentioned doing it in thirds. Well, I decided to nix that plan because these two are connected right here and it would have been kind of hard. If I would have split it in thirds, I probably would have ended up trying to split these two and that just wasn't going to work. So what I'm doing is I decided to go ahead and do the cauldron, the bat, and the cat in, hold on, of course I have the, the name of the thread is, is behind here. Okay. So I'm doing, um, like I said, the bat, the cauldron, and the cat in this one, which is Green Pasture from Gentle Arts. Okay, and then I'm doing these two witches over here. And, yep, this one. Sorry. <laughs> I have it all written down. I have a working copy of the pattern. I have it all written down there. But anyway, um, so I ha that's being done in Forest Glade by Gentle Arts which is this kind of dark army green color. And that's going to be these two witches here. And then the other two witches over here are going to be in Pine by Gentle Arts. So that's how I went ahead and decided to break that pattern up. So, so I think, like I said, so now, now that you kind of know how the breakup's going to be, you can kind of see, see what... It, Hopefully you can kind of visualize what it's going to look like. So I think it's going to be really cool. Um, the only thing, uh, the only thing I did not realize when I bought this pattern is there are fractional stitches in this, and I hate fractional stitches. I know it'd be easier if I stitched on linen or even weave, but kind of, like I said, I really like my Ada, and I have easy access to Ada, so I can get white Ada whenever I need it and dye it any color I want and so I tend to stitch on Ada a lot but this whole cauldron like the whole thing <laughs> except for these few little bit on the side here has all fractionals all along it so the cauldron is actually the worst when it comes to fractionals so I got I decided to get that done first and now it shouldn't be quite so bad but I really hate when patterns have fractionals. It's hard sometimes when you're looking at it and you're like, to you, it doesn't look like it does. And then you get it and it's like, oh man, I really wish they put that in the descriptions, you know, but oh well. Okay, so then I signed up for the October um, ATC exchange on Instagram. And this month's theme is, I think it's Halloween or you can kind of, I don't know if you can do something different, but... I think everyone's doing Halloween. Of course I am too. So I made a little start and I'm not going to tell you what it's going to be. You can probably guess what it's going to be, but in case the person that I'm exchanging or who gets, you know, my ATC is watching, it'll be a surprise. So I probably won't show you guys any more progress on it, but I did start and this little, <laughs> this little thing is going to take me forever. This is 18 count Ada, which, you know, I don't mind working on 18 count, but it's so small. They're already, it was pre-cut. I did, I pre-cut a bunch of Ada a while ago for ornaments. And so it's so small, I can't fit it in a hoop. So I have to stitch in, an, in hand with this, and I don't stitch strictly in hand anymore. Um, I have arthritis in my hands, and so I can only work on this about an hour, and I have to put it away. It just starts to hurt. So... But yeah, so I made a start on it. Um, I'm not sure if I'm not sure if this is gonna actually be the one I send or not. I don't know. I got another pattern that I really like, so I might I might choose something different to do. I don't know. You just never know. Never know. Okay, so then my next new start. Oh yeah, told you guys I was gonna do it in the last three videos. 
I finally did. I made my start on Haunting Halloween, or is it Haunt, Haunting Household, from the 2017 Just Cross Stitch Halloween issue. Yep, I finally did. Got all the threads. I had no excuses now. I had to start it. And there is my start. So we've got monsters all done. And I got the word her. And I got the little bat. So I did change this one a little bit. Which, um, these, this is all just charted in DMC. I decided to go ahead and do it all in hand dyed floss. Um, almost all of the floss I'm using is from Color and Cotton, except for the orange, because silly me forgot to order an orange from Color and Cotton. I had meant to. Um, and the orange is Orange Marmalade from Gentle Arts. So... But I love it. I love it. Um, now I'm going to let you in on a little... I know that there's kind of a suggested way, I guess I'll put it, that you're supposed to work with hand-dyed or variegated threads. You know, you're supposed to... There's kind of a... Not, I'm not going to say a right way or a wrong way, but there's a suggested way that you're supposed to work with it. And that usually does not include doing the loop start. Well... I did the correct way on this piece, so you can see this piece, with all the variegated. You could see the variegation very well. Um, I did not do the loop start on that one. For some reason, when I went to start this one with, you know, two, two threads and, you know, to, to do the typical how you, how you would start it, um, it would not lay right. I don't know, it just wouldn't. I ended up ripping it all out, it wouldn't lay right. So I went ahead and did the, the loop start method with this. Um, so the variegation is, is different, uh, but I love it. I still, I think it's really cool. Even though maybe I didn't do it the way you're supposed to do it, but that's okay. I never do anything the way you're supposed to do it. So, but I love it. So I'm just happy that I finally got started on it because I keep saying I'm gonna start that piece. So I finally did. And then my last start was an electronic pattern, and I forgot to, I, sorry, I didn't print the uh, overall cover page of it, but it is called Autumn, and it's from the Queen Bee Handmade on Etsy, and this is my start, and what it is, basically what it's going to be is it's a clothesline, oh, sorry, it's a clothesline with the witch's dress and her socks and her hat and her shoes are in here and then her house is in the background and the clothesline poles are covered in vines with pumpkins and so it is it's really cute it's really cute so I'm, I'm yeah I think I'm really excited about this one I, I love this and then this is thread or thread wow this is fabric that I hand dyed. I don't, I don't think I should. No, I, I've hand dyed this since the, my last video. So I did this specifically for this piece. And then the reason I wanted to say thread is that I am using one of the threads that I hand dyed for this piece. Let's see if that shows up. It's different shades of orange. It's got a little bit of orange. It goes all the way to almost a goldy color. And so I'm going to use that for the pumpkins. And I, I used it for the, um, the little clothespin. There. But yes. So I've, st I've started hand dyeing floss. Thanks to um, watching Candy from Candy Stitches. She's been showing all the floss that she's been hand dyeing. And I'm like, oh, I want to try that. And I was really nervous to try that. And then I watched... Yanni Stitcher, and she had a little tutorial on how she dyes her fabric and how she hand dyes her floss, and I'm like, okay, I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it. So I got a lot of floss to show you guys that I made. I'm really proud of it. All right, so those were my new starts. So as for whips, okay, I pulled out Pumpkins in Love 
by the Primitive Hair. I am obsessed with this piece. Yeah, I, just, I love this one. I really do. So it is stitching up pretty well. Oh yes, I finally... My male pumpkin has a head. He has his head, everything. Eyes, everything. Yay. <laughs> they always look so creepy when they're like half done. But oh yep. So this one's stitching up pretty quick. And I just, I love it. This is 18 count Ada that I hand dyed. I'm using one strand of floss. So. Very pleased. Very pleased. Okay. And then I pulled out. Hold on. I think I buried the cover page. Yes, I did. I was, I'm trying to be prepared. I am, but... Man, it's been a long week. Okay, so the cover page. I pulled out Moon Phases by the Little Stitcher. I still have to look that up every time because I swear, I don't know what I do. I add so many different words to, to her shop. So I had to pull this one out because Abby from Top Knot Stitcher has joined me for my little stitch along and she's killing it. She is killing it. She, it looks great. So I had to pull mine out because she is she is beating me. I am <laughs> woefully behind. So I started with the middle one, the middle white one. Um, so I got a little bit of the border done. Did some more on her dress. So we're making progress. And then there's going to be little spaces here and there because um, there's it's charted for beads. And I, I'm going to do the beads. I'm actually I'm going to try beading. I've only done a few little pieces with beads. But I'm not going to do the called for colored beads. Um, I'm going to use up whatever beads I have on hand. So, so yeah, that's coming along. And if you want to join us on our stitch along, it is uh, hashtag moon phases S-A-L on Instagram. So come and join us. It's a lot of fun. It is. It's a lot. It's a fun piece to work on. So sorry. So much stuff. So much stuff. Okay. Then the last piece that I pulled out is Miss Grimmild, um from the Primitive Hair. I was so hoping to have this one done last night, but I just ran out of time. But I should have her done soon. So she's got her whole hat done almost done with her dress and then there's a couple little spiders that come hanging off and so but we're close we are close to a finish on her and I really like her I think she's really really cute so hopefully for my next video I will have a finish fingers crossed fingers crossed so that's what I worked on this week that was my stitching so I did actually work on quite a bit. Um, like I said, I just could not get, squeak in a finish. But, okay. So next, I was going to show you, I did have one last, well actually I have one other order outstanding. I don't know when that's going to get shipped, but my needle minders came. So I ordered some needle minders from um, True North Minders on Facebook. She has an Etsy shop too, so I will try to remember to link both below. But she was having a clearance sale on her Gorgeous Girl needle minders. And I love the Gorgeous Girls. So, it's clearance. She's never going to have them again. Had to grab them. Had to. And then I made the mistake of being like, oh, she has bottle cap needle minders. Those are really cute. I wonder if she has anything that I'll like. Four bottle cap needle minders later. Oh, yeah. So we have a tattooed Ariel, and we have we have Big Glare. No, <laughs> we have the Big Bang Theory, and we have Scooby Doo, and we have Sherlock and Watson. So love them, love them, love them, love them. They are perfect. So I'm very very happy. Uh, so then we went to. Walmart and I 
went through their clearance section <laughs> because, you know, why not? It's about as close to thrifting as I get because we went to one of our thrift stores and they went downhill. I don't know. They didn't have like anything. It was really disappointing. So but I'm, I'm going to keep trying. But, excuse. Sorry. So I've got stuff everywhere and I buried it. Okay. So I went to Walmart, went through the clearance sections, picked up a whole bunch more binders that they had. Look at how cute. I got minion binders. So love these. Most of them were, you know, some were $2, but most were like 50 cents. So I used those for uh, project bags. And then they had frames on sale. Isn't that pretty? So that's a four by six. So for some of my smaller pieces. I just thought that was so cool. I really liked that one. Love this one. Isn't this neat? It's got like a metal. So yeah, it's a um, five by seven with the mat. And I've got I it's gotta be a five by seven piece because I love the mat on this with that metal mat, so love that. And then this is another 5x7, kind of that rusticy feel to it, so yay. I love that. And then of course they had their Halloween stuff out, so I got some, some fabrics. These are just um, fat quarters. Um, hold on. Let's see, I don't know. Let's see how long it takes her to open to peel off a sticker. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, okay, there we go. So I picked up this one, the kitties with the witch hats. I just love the color, and of course I love the cats. So it'll probably be a, a, a backing fabric of some sort. And then this one, I just, I just really liked the colors in this. Again, it'll be a backing fabric of some sort. I'm sure I'll do some cubes or something. And then, or pillows. Probably pillows. And then I found this ribbon. It's some um, sparkly spider webs. So, and it's really, it's really thick. It is um, two and a half inches wide. So, that'll be good for some bigger cubes. So I really like that. Okay. <clears throat> So then, I did some more fabric dyeing. Like I said, I watched a tutorial by um, Yanni Stitcher, and so I had to try out some of her her methods. Uh, so I'm just I'm I won't show you guys I guess all of them because I did quite a few, but I really liked this one, purple and blues. So this is uh, 14 count Ada. So I was really really happy with how this one came out. Might be a little bit darker in person, but very pretty. In fact, I haven't even pressed these yet. I've been, that's how lazy and tired I've been this week. Usually I press my stuff like right away. No. This one I thought was really cool. Different, it's green and gold and purple. Oh, there. Okay, you can kind of see. Looks better from the back. Back further. So, I really like that one. Um, love this one too. I don't know what I'm going to use it for, <laughs> but we've got bright greens and some yellow and some orange. So very happy with that one as well. And then the only one that I'm not thrilled. This is the first time I've ever had it happen. Honestly, I don't know if I like. I don't know. I don't like the red. It just, it's splotched on me. I'm not crazy about it. So, I, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to try and fix it or if I'm just going to leave it. And maybe I'll cut it, you know, kind of cut it up and use it for smaller pieces or, I don't know. It'll get used. But I just wasn't, I wasn't thrilled with how that one came out. But, so then I went ahead and decided... I was going to try my hand at floss dyeing because, like I said, I watched Yanni Stitcher and she did floss dyeing and I was like, oh, I think I can do that. And Candy. Candy kept showing us hand-dyed floss that she did. So I was like, okay, I gotta try. 
the reason I wanted to try is this pattern. The Witch House that I showed you guys that I bought last week. This whole thing is done basically in hand dye floss, which I have no problem, you know, getting hand dye flosses, obviously. But they're from multiple sources. And so, and you, I, they have a list of shops that you can find them at. And so I was like, hmm, I wonder if I could try dyeing some of my own colors. So that's what I did. So first of all, I dyed the fabric for it. So this was the, this is the fabric that I dyed for that piece. So it's a rather, it's a pretty large piece. So it's 14 count, but I don't know. Once it's dyed, I think it would be, I think it's usually around 16 count. I don't know. I don't know. It's 14 count. Okay. So then I started dyeing floss. So, I did, I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see that or not, but it's it's a variegated, it's a grayish with some greens in it, and we've got nice, oops, we're going to drop it on the floor a few times, pick up some dog hair, <laughs> and that's actually a very dark gray with a dark brown in it. So I think that'll look nice. And then I've got a couple um, little bit lighter browns for accent colors. And then the hard one. The roof, or the roof, I'm sorry, not the roof. There's a little chimney here, if you can see. There's a little chimney. And it's like a rust color. So I've been trying to make a rust color. Well, yeah, I failed. <laughs> It did not. This was the first one. This was my first attempt at trying to do a rusty color. Nope. I love the color, just not what I'm looking for for that piece. So I tried again. So these are the two that I came up with. They're not rust at all. They're gorgeous. They're just not exactly what I was looking for. But this one I actually really like because it reminds me of like a brick color. And so I think my chimney may be brick colored and not rust colored. And that's fine. So that's what started my floss dyeing is I wanted to do for this piece. I wanted to hand dye my own floss. Then after I got those done, I was like, you know what? We're going to have some fun. <laughs> so I started dyeing some fun flosses. <laughs> so I love them love them. This one is one of my favorites because, you know, I love blue. And this is actually one of my favorite blue dyes that I used. So it is, it's actually more variegated than when it's showing up. It's got some darker and some lighter tones in it. But I love that one. And then, let's see. I'll show these two. So they're really cool. So yeah, I had a had a lot of fun. I'm kind of addicted to floss dyeing now. Oh, I'll show you. This, these ones are for some Halloween projects, too, that I'm going to do. So, yeah. Lots of fun. A little bit of white DMC floss and some dye, some Rit dye, and look at what you can come up with. <laughs> so it's a lot, a lot of fun. And, I, of course, I will link everybody that I've mentioned below so you guys can go check it out. Um, so yeah, that was what I did this week. So I had, I had a, I think I had a really good week. I got a lot done. Would have liked to have gotten some finishes, but hey, it's okay. I still got a lot of stitching done. So before I sign off, I do want to do some shout outs. So I received an amazing shout out from Danielle at Stitcherista. If you have not checked out Danielle, you need to run over there and go check her out because she is amazing. And so thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much, Danielle, for the shout out. I was shocked and I, yeah, you got you blow me away. So thank you so much for the wonderful shout out. And then I wanted to do a couple shout outs of my own. So um, I've been watching um, Melissa um, from Stitching Lists. Uh, she's newer, 
Um, she's done some amazing projects. She's got, I think, three videos out right now. And she is working on a frigid stitch piece that I would really like to stitch. So if you haven't checked out Melissa, go check her out. And then Jennifer Upton. Jennifer is, again, an amazing stitcher. I she's she's fast. She's a fast stitcher. I love the pieces that she works on. She finds some terrific patterns. So if you haven't checked out Jennifer, go check out her channel. She's amazing. So there we go. <laughs> Those are my chat shout outs for the week. So I did want to take just a quick second also and say a huge thank you to everyone that has watched my videos, um, subscribed to my channel, um, hit the thumbs up button, or left me a comment. It's been an amazing ride. I'm having so much fun doing floss tube videos and watching floss tube. And I think that doing this, you guys are pushing me to stitch more, which, hey, you can't argue with that. That's fantastic. So thank you guys so much. And I hope you guys have a fantastic week. Um, I think we're going to be taking a trip next weekend and, oh, I get to go to a Michael's store. Yay. So I could be coming home with a lot, of, a lot of stuff next week. I don't think so. I'm going to try and, I'm going to try. did it to me again. I was seriously two seconds away from finishing up my video. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, I was saying next weekend we are planning a little trip and I should get to be able to go to a Michael's store. So I'm kind of excited about that. Uh, I'm going to try to not come home with too much haul. Okay, I'm going to try and go hopefully to get some, some things to actually finish pieces. That's my goal. So wish me luck because, yeah. Let's just put it this way. Credit cards, checkbook, everything staying at home. I'm only going to have so much cash with me <laughs> because otherwise I go a little crazy. But anyway, I'm going to try and be good. I've gotten a lot of birthday stuff, so I don't need stuff. So I keep telling myself, don't need stuff. Right. Anyway, <laughs> so I hope everybody, I hope all of you guys out there have a fantastic week and weekend coming up with lots and lots and lots of stitching. And I look forward to seeing all of the future updates that you guys do. And thank you guys so much for joining me at the House of Floss and Fluff. And I will see you all in a week or so. All right. Bye, guys. Have a great day.